So this question starts off by giving us a system of equations. I'll just say SOE, system of equations. And typically, whenever we have a system of equations provided, we're going to use either elimination as a method for solving for x and y, or we will use substitution to start off with to solve for x or y. Um, given how the system of equations is set up, I'm going to say elimination is the best method. Substitution typically is only a better method if one of the variables is isolated in the original system of equations, right? Meaning, meaning that there is not a coefficient in front of either the x or the y. That makes it a lot simpler to use substitution over elimination. But we don't have that in this particular case. So the question says the system of equations above is graphed in the xy plane. What is the x-coordinate of the intersection point, xy, of the system? So there's a couple of ways to do this. First of all, you could just put this into your graphing calculator. That would probably be the easiest way. You throw this into your graphing calculator, you're going to see where the two lines intersect. You're going to trace to that point and figure out which one of these answers makes the most sense given what your graph says. Because I'm not showing a graph on this particular video, what I can also tell you is the point of intersection, right? The, the x coordinate of the intersection point, x, y, is also just the solution to the system of equations, right? This x, y is the solution to the system of equations. So in essence, looking at this system of equations, 2.4x minus 1.5y equals 0 0.3 and 1.6x plus 0.5y equals negative 1.3, I just need to solve for x because we only want the x-coordinate, which means I'm going to use elimination and I'm going to eliminate the y value as my first step here. So how can I do that? I can do that by multiplying the bottom equation by 3. So let's see what happens when I do that. So the top equation is still 24 x minus 1.5 y equals 0 0.3 but the bottom equation is now 3 times 1.6 which is 4.8 x 3 times 0 0.5 which becomes positive 1.5 y and 3 times negative 1.3 which becomes negative 3.9 by adding these together you can see that my negative 1.5 y and positive 1.5 y are gone Adding the 2.4 plus 4.8 gives me uh, 7.2x equals uh, then 0.3 minus 3.9 is negative 3.6. I can then divide by 7.2 and we'd get x is equal to negative 0 0.5 if you throw that into your calculator. So our answer here must be choice A.